Hey yo guys, I have something to show you that happened to me recently. I'm gonna turn on my dev kit. And it's booting up. You just see a no signal at the moment, but it's booting up. It'll take a bit. You see that? This development kit has expired. See dev kit slash test kit activation news guide. Oh no! Whatever will I do? I have to activate from devnet, but I don't have access to devnet. And even if I did, I wouldn't be able to access this. I'm gonna turn down the um, console volume. It's probably very loud. Okay. Um. Yeah, I have to activate from devnet, right? Well. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to hack the activation right now. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to um on your computer. You wanna um you wanna go and download Um I'm gonna mute um Oh actually you're moving at mute too, okay. I'm gonna go to um activate dot VTK um and that's here, bitbucket.com slash store computer slash activate the VTK. Um so yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna head over to downloads. And we're going to download the latest version of activate.vpk. And now we're going to go back onto the console. And we're going to open beta shell. Um I we'll have to start Henkaku first, but I have Enzo, so I don't have to. Okay, um and shell update, whatever. Do, 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 do just get up there install the update. It's always fun. <sighs> Okay, so now I'm going to just hit the start button, change this to USB, and then hit select to connect USB. Now, back on the computer. I'm going to put this in here. And now, I'm going to exit out, of course. I'm sure we've all installed VPKs before. I'm going to head right down to activate our VPK. You want to install it. And say yes. Now you want to run activate.vpk. You should see this text come up. If it comes up saying updating CPRTC to some value and then has wet 0x00, then that means it worked. So I'm going to hit any key to turn off the console. And now, the one more thing you need to do is you need to physically unplug the um, power connector from your dev kit and then plug it back in and now boot it back up
now I'll notice the message is gone. And if we go into settings, debug settings, activation, show activation, show expiry date. We will see that this test kit slash dev kit now expires in 89 days, PS 23, 58, 24, 42. Now, this won't always work because it only works if your dev kit has been activated once before um, by, whoever, uh, by whoever owned it. Um, if it hasn't, or if the activation files are gone, then it won't work. But if they are there, it will do this. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's how you activate a dev kit without Sony. Bye.